Citizens of the Reject Nation. It's been a couple days, so we're going to be able to take this episode on its own merits. I haven't slept in about three days, so if I fall asleep on camera, call that pulling an Aaron around here. Hello. Aaron. Yeah. Are you awake? I am. I'm defueled up 300 oh, milligrams, so. baby, so I'm wired. My heart is beating real fast. Okay. I'm going to be okay. We'll survive. The more you talk, the more tired I get. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, what do you think about this season? It's it's okay so far. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm holding out hope that it ends strong. I'm going to cling it on a dear life. And while I'm doing that, leave a like, please. Also, a uh, prepper. You guys are prepping it up. So much prepping. And uh, full-length reaction watch-longs where you sync up with your own copy. And no matter how many times I say that, we're guaranteed a few people a month to come here and go, why is it just a time code, even though I'm saying you sync up with your own copy? It's at our Patreon page. And John and I cover all some things over there exclusively with highlights and watch-longs included. Aaron, are you ready? I'm ready to see how they're going to wrap this all up in six episodes. Let's go, baby. Let's go, mother F-words. Real to real. Oh, it's some type of code to everyone. The so time has come. They must always need that radio station playing. Oh, damn. Colt is huge. She just brings a shotgun to work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> How did she get away with that? <laughs> Is this Muse? I don't know. Just leave the baby. Okay. <laughs> Look at what this. are we preparing for? <laughs> Diversity. I don't know. They're going to murder someone. Together we stand. United. How do you guys just keep all these guns with you? Okay, why do some people have guns, others have wrench and shovels? Like, this, the odds don't seem fair. <laughs> Umbrellas putting their hands up in there. Are they going to form an umbrella? Oh, Upside that? down umbrella. Oh, well. Final umbrella of the show. Oh. Man, it's beautiful looking, though, man. We are nearing the moment of return to our rightful lives. And how are you going to get there? The non believers will try to break through our lines and stop the cleanse. How? <laughs> and not let that happen. They're all gonna fight the Umbrella Academy. Now is the time for sacrifice. Because God damn it, we're the only effers brave enough to see this through. Are you with us? She got the language down. It's pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a luger. A great image. Oh, what have they got, you uh, evolved into, Ben? They got, they got pus coming out your face. We find the target. What are your instructions? No one takes a shot unless I give the order. Is that clear? That's a chain Targraves. Against my better judgment, we'll try it your way. Timeline, new man. I think we should talk to Gene and Gene. Lunatics? Waste of time, if you ask me. Might be a way to negotiate with them, and at the very least, it could buy us some time to get Ben and Jennifer out of there before they become. Benifer. The clans. Very well. <laughs> That's right. That's where we left them. It's like the good old days, huh? Yeah, better than the old days. Man, we took on the CIA and won. Yeah, buddy. I feel like the CIA would be able to find these guys really easily. <laughs> I'm so ashamed I even wanted to work there. It's like I've been sleepwalking through my own life. Meanwhile, I'm married to the hottest, uh, smartest. Uh. Most psychotic chick on the planet. She's been cheating on you for a couple of years now, man. With your brother. I'm an aging stripper, living alone in a condemned building. Oh, whoa. Hey, when I was playing secret agent, who sniffed out a global conspiracy? I got lucky. Lucky? Damn, Five couldn't even do that. He's been working there for years. That is true. He could not notice a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> a very visible one on the wrist. Poppy's home. Come here. Hi. Hello. You guys been good, huh? Miss you guys so much. 
Oh. He's gonna try to go to another timeline where Sloane is. Where's Lila? Who knows? Like you, she doesn't tell us anything. She doesn't come back? No! And why are you standing there for it? Come around, you must be hungry. Yes, we are starving, aren't we? Now they got a big monkey from the first episode. Did I borrow some clothes? Of course! You can take from Cousin Honey's closet. Oh. <laughs> My closet? Looks like he's wearing a chassis belt. What do you want? The boy and his girlfriend. No problem. Go ahead and get him. But first, you need permission from every man and woman here. Including the Central Intelligence Agency. We should shoot every last one of us. You're not helping. Typical. Excuse me? Every word out of your mouth is a perfect little pearl, right? Not to be questioned because you think you know best. Such a man's perspective. She resents him. Mm -hmm. I am a man. <laughs> Why don't you two toddle on off to wherever you came from? Forget even entertaining somebody else's opinion or respecting their wishes. Oh my god, oh she my resents god. him. <laughs> wow. Oh. Giving him up. And you never listen. <laughs> but I've got your attention now. Seeping through. Blowing your cover. That was weird. For once, my boy, we are in complete agreement. So. That's the only thing you thought was weird about this? <laughs> It was you acting like a lunatic. You are overreacting. Am I? You clearly know that man, Jean. It doesn't matter. Like hell it doesn't. Keep your voice down. Keep it together. Keep it together. We're almost at the finish line. Something's changed. They got to you in life. The known believer. <laughs> oh, dude. I brought you into this war. I taught you the truth about the clan. About me? He'd just be some sniveling little mama's boy. Oh my god, is oh, he gonna no. kill her? No. His dissertation. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Wow, this seems a little fast. Why'd you do that? Jean has betrayed us. She's your wife. In broad daylight, in front of everybody. The cleanse is bigger than love, my compatriots. It's bigger than all of us. Nick Offerman got to kill his wife. <laughs> she started the movement. There's a difference between starting something and having the spine to see it through, B, no matter the cost. Gross. Jean got cold feet. Like Joaquin Phoenix with that gay movie. Get back to your posts. You might want to give that a light sharpener. Are you going to wipe it off? Do you need all these people? Thing looks normal. I suppose they solved the cleanse with that. Oh, she's holding his arm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you good? It's been seven years since I've seen my kids five. I'm scared. What are you scared of? That they won't love me like they did before. It's been like a day for them. It's only been a few hours for them. Nothing's changed. You guys don't look like you've aged seven years at all. You're back. We are. Ugh. Yeah, I'm starting to get worried. Uh, oh, he's all, he's all extra sincere now. Lay on that guilt. Oh, I don't know. I'm Misty. Aww. You did? Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I? It's just I, I can't remember the last time you said that. Oh. Sorry about that. That's going to change. A lot of things are going to change now. Ooh. He hate it. This is so awkward. Super awkward. Oh, my God. I'm so uncomfortable. You can let go of me now, Mommy. Aww. Why are you crying? I'm just so happy to see you. You okay? Yeah. Come here. Oh. Oh, oh my God. How? Wait, what's with the dirt? Oh, yeah. Allison and Claire Bear had to dig me out of the grave of a dead greyhound. Is anyone hungry? My God, I could eat a horse. I guess that plot really was pointless. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, dude. What the hell? Cinco, you coming? Yeah, I'm right behind you. All right, we'll take your shoes off. Cinco. That's cool. I gave you an opportunity to resolve this issue. You failed. Now we do it my way. Gene was right. You do always think you know what's best. If you can get a sight on Ben, take the shot. What? No. No, no. Negative. I saved your life back there on the road. You owe me the chance to talk to Ben. You have 15 minutes. But I fail to see how you intend to breach that mob. I mean, She's got powers. I feel like she can power through them. I need to borrow a tire could just... iron and a sharpie. A tire iron and a sharpie. Interesting. Hey, whoa, hey, who the oh, fuck are you? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Ah. Uh, You're late. My truck broke down, so I had to hoof it the last couple of miles. How do you flip your tattoo? Do you already have one? Can I join you guys? Yeah. You can post up with us here at the back of the building. And make sure no one gets in. How much of your 15 minutes did you use to create that tattoo? It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
We need to save Ben. We need to learn how to fly in five seconds. They know how to fly. They've flown oh, before. But are, their powers are different now. They got the swirly, the swirly orange, not the blue. <laughs> God damn. Like I said, nobody goes inside, asshole. Jesus Christ. I need to save Ben. <laughs> What have you oh, become? Oh my god. You need to come with me. I'm not leaving Jennifer. I think you have to. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna help you, okay? Both of you. Just, I need you to listen to me. We don't need your help! I think you do! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to yell. Is that CGI? Yeah, totally. Freaky. You guys have to separate. You'll both feel better if you separate. Some healthy distance in a relationship would do you wonders right about now. <laughs> God, that must be so painful. Oh my God, I can only imagine. Maybe he found Ben and Jennifer. Surely he would have called and left a message. So we all struck out? God, what a bunch of losers. Well, not entirely. I feel like most of them had nothing to do this season. Deputy Director Ribbons is a keeper, along with some other agents of the CIA. Turns out Gene and Gene also have a bigger movement than we thought. Yeah, so we have to get to Ben and Jennifer before they do and stop the cleanse. You have to find mm. them first. Well, yeah. He's being so extra lovey-dovey. Mm. What's with you? We've barely said a word, Five. When does that ever happen? It's called thinking, Luther. You should try it sometime. Hey. Whoa, 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 I'm called for. Oh, yeah. shut up. I do Five. think. I think you're an asshole. <laughs> Can we just not do this right now? No, no you know what? Uh, Let's do it right uh -oh. now. Uh-oh. Five, it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be okay. Don't, don't, don't talk to my wife like that, man. <laughs> you gonna do something about it, face? Oh, wow. Hey, both of you need to stop, okay? <laughs> What's that? What's what? That thing on your wrist. You hate bracelets. Oh. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I gave you one for Valentine's Day. You traded it for a Dyson vacuum. Damn. A Dyson vacuum's pretty awesome. Did you give her this bracelet? <gasps> wow. You guys got some suck. Explaining to do. Answer the question, Five. I made it. For her. Only well, I sure as hell didn't make it for you. Wow. <laughs> you are being so insensitive. This is so messy. Is there something going on between you two? Don't do this in front of the children. Don't do this on Christmas. Diego. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, wow. Scandalous. I didn't see that one coming. Me neither, Five. I mean, Klaus. <laughs> I was right all this time. I knew you were cheating on me with... Dude. I wasn't cheating, at least. Not when you thought that I was. Should we go? We should go. Yeah, that, 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 we're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Did you S-K-R-E-W my wife? Screw is spelled S-C-R-E-W. <laughs> Five and I, we've been lost in a subway. It's not a regular subway. It's a waypoint between alternate timelines of the same moment in time. Yeah, you think I'm going to buy that bullshit? Hey, she's telling the truth, all right? We got lost. We couldn't find our way back. Uh-huh. We were searching for seven years, Diego. Jeez. Whew, that, that is hard. We were moving from timeline to timeline we had no idea what we would find we were chased attacked shot up yeah those are all great scenes i never stopped trying to find a way home <laughs> and i got tired and then i had to stop running that's when it happened wow this is a lot to take in do you love him do you love him <sighs> of course she does Diego. do you love him <sighs> i hate this i guess what is this show doing? Why are we doing this in the finale? <laughs> Isn't that, that Uncle Ben? One of the occupants is a former convict named Ben Hargreaves. Oh, we gotta go. It's unclear to us at this time how this armed group of protesters is connected with Hargreaves. And we have no information if Hargreaves is holding any hostages. A good transition. I was just gonna say. It's changing both of you. Into what? Well, I'm not sure. Does it matter right now? But I do know that if you Bro, look stay that here with her, it's only going to get worse. It's moving in you. I'm leaving her, Victor. You look like a Pirates of the Caribbean 2 monster. <laughs> Part of Davy Jones's. That's dad checking on us. You need to pop something. Let me answer it. Could buy us more time. More time for what? He wants to kill you. If you don't come out with me, 
I guarantee you that Dad and his tactical team will come in and they will kill you. And Jennifer. And Jennifer. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what he's turning into. Something like a, a booger. I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared, Victor. Wow. Yeah, you look like shit, too. You put some lotion on. Some I'll fix it. I don't want to go home. Will you revert back? <laughs> Oh, whatever's taking over is really taking over. I mean, if the brother got to me, he can get there. In theory, five could just blink him out of there. I don't think he's learned how to focus it yet. In all these years. <laughs> In the seven years, he did not <laughs> learn to harness his powers. Well, that doesn't look good. Hey, quick, back down that alley so we're out of sight. Oh, oh, back what? Up, what are you doing? I'm trying. What? 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 Oh, what the hell? Someone controlling it? Hey, for the love of God, shoot him. There's no way they would survive that. Hell no. <laughs> Not a chance of that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Luther, five, you can blink. Like, what the hell? No, do the no, blinky it's, blinky and get us into the that store. doesn't work anymore. What? I'll make me go power. We'll do it together. No, you're not doing anything with him. You of all people know we're gonna end up in the subway. I do not think about the past. Okay. If you're going to do something, now would be the time. Yeah. Your family needs you. I need you. Oh, this is so ugly. This is awful. Why do they do this? <laughs> Oh, what do you know? It worked. That's convenient. Yeah. What is That's that? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Not, not even much of a moment out of it. <laughs> just, just did it. <laughs> Touch down. Oh, Jesus. She's worse. Jennifer? Uh, what have you guys mutated into? Please let me help. Leave now. I can't control it. I don't want to hurt you. This is Sniper Team 1. I got eyes on the target. I would kill him. At this point, <laughs> like, what are you doing? This is the end of the, end of the world. Or, oh, shit. Is he going to try to absorb it? I think he is. He's pulling out the Durango. Victor, let him go. I can save him. Let's pull out the Marigolds. No, the Durango. Oh, whoa. What? And I get it, Victor's caused so many apocalypses. He'd want to try to save him now. We are out of time, sir. Take the shot. Can Diego stop it in time? It's a really great visual, though. That's pretty cool. Aw, oh, Ben. Ben looked out for him. Did Ben see that bullet coming? That's what it looked like. Tango down. I mean, they all should get away from Jennifer. <laughs> uh oh. It's Is it too Victor late? now. Oh, they're morphing. Oh my god, this is freaky. What the <laughs> actual hell? It's happening! Yeah. Cleanse. It's here. Don't be afraid. Oh, oh my God. Jesus horrifying. Christ. Oh, shit. We got to get that thing away from Victor. What if we had to? Doesn't matter. They might still be alive. In there. Uh, what? No. Fight the boss villain. Fight the Resident Evil villain. What? Oh, Allison probably did that. I can fly now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. He can float bef like before. Holy. Yeah, Resident Evil. Okay, that didn't work. Eye lasers? Yeah, yeah. Aim for the tanks. Like a boss villain. <laughs> 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 
The giant takes right next to them. <laughs> Oh, there's three phases to this fight. This is a video game. Yeah. It's a video game fight. Oh my god. to get bigger. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get away from me, old kid. We almost got killed over. Jesus Christ. What the hell? That's not even a person anymore. What the? This is a monster face. Why are we doing this? It'd be great if they kill Diego right now. <laughs> <laughs> Simplify the problem. What are you doing? My turn. Oh, what the hell? What are you waiting for? It's Ben. Not anymore. Ugh. Guys. Come on, we gotta get up. Uh, come on. All right, that's it. It's clobbering time. I got someone your own size, you giant piece of shit. <laughs> Little help! My head is stuck in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is flowing. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. It's not working. So she has two powers. Uh, well, okay. All right. I think it's. Ex I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it either. <laughs> Always down for a big sci-fi monster. Ever stop growing. It is freaky. Ah! Stop fighting each other when we're about to be killed. I want to kill him. It's over five. I don't think I've ever heard five cuss before. <laughs> Gonna sacrifice himself. Shit. <laughs> what is this freak out here? <laughs> this is wild. This is like one of those Disney Plus finales. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> oh, wow. What now? We gotta get the hell out of here and figure out how to kill that thing. Let's go. Come on. I wonder if five went back to the subway to try to. Oh, yep. Sure enough. You still have the book so you can give it to the right timeline? Damn, Lila. Ruined this family. They were all so good together before. <laughs> no family drama whatsoever. Time to evacuate, sir. Contrary. Good God. It's time to face the inevitable. Bye, Gary. Thank you for your service. Take your skin off, Hargrave. Show him your true form and fight him. You know, when they said it was going to be this thing called the cleanse, this is not what I uh, envisioned. A giant kaiju monster? A giant <laughs> Absorbing. A giant cancerous kaiju monster. Formless. Well, I don't know. Do you have any idea what you've done? Yeah. I ended the war. Why is that a good thing? Well, that's a good thing, my love. Who are you? I'm surprised there's never like any blood. I was thinking the same thing. You would think. Just where's the flesh like it's nothing? And the hair's just down perfectly. You did this. You left me no choice. But why? Dying was my penance for creating something so deadly. This cleanse. Wasn't it enough to see our world destroyed? Where'd her clothes go? Oh. Mm. Why would you lose it on this one? Whoa. Season one flashback. I didn't ask to be brought back to life. That was an act of love. No, Reginald. It was hubris. Your actions had consequences far greater than anything you could imagine. Yeah, yep, yeah, definitely. That's the point. And it was my duty to set it right. So it was you who thwarted all my plans to keep Ben and Jennifer apart. I was wrong. And you made it right. What? Well done, my love. Hello, bitch. <laughs> well done. Was <laughs> <laughs> I gonna eat them? Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Yep. 
Should have shown it. Five's gonna go off in his own indie movie. Oh my god, all this stuff from last episode. All that episode again. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you didn't watch it. And if you say so. Over the course of two episodes. You know, just episode five, I would have never saw this coming. No, it was episode four, I mean. <laughs> How romantic. This. Oh, what the hell? Hey, wait. Gotta have five interact with five. Is it a bunch of fives? Is it like the council of fives? Fiveathon? Max is delicate. Delicatessian. Delicatessian. Yeah, that's what it says. It is. It's like the Council of Fives. This has to be in his head. Be like hey. hella methane in there. What is this place? It's a gas station. What does it look like? It's a deli. <laughs> Cafe. They all have the same hair. We're all you from alternate timelines. Most of us here have given up trying to fix the problem. The problem? What problem? Broken timeline, man. There's only supposed to be one. I don't get it. Look around, Five. Does this seem right to you? Okay, so what shattered the original timeline? Not what, who? I will give you three guesses to figure it out. <laughs> you guys in season one. We did. Why you always gotta wreck shit? Risk it, Five? <laughs> By we, he means the family, my siblings. The morons, yeah. One perfect timeline, and the moment we come into existence, boom, shattered to an infinite number of alternate timelines and an infinite loop of time as we try and save the world. How many times was it again? 145,412. Holy Damn. moly. With all the different ways we made our universe go kaboom. Google Blitz. We need to fix this. Oh, trust me, we've tried. That's why one of us created the commission. He wanted to undo all the broken timelines, get back to the one and only. But that always fails because a family is the problem. We're doomed to save or destroy the world over and over again ad infinitum. Gotta kill a family. Get back to my family. Stop this from ever happening. Well, good luck with that. Guess you don't want your brisket to go. Okay. All right. He's just leaving. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before it envelops everything. So the world's ending again, huh? Hey, great timing. Why'd you come back, buddy? Things are pretty bleak here. Trust me, I wasn't planning on it. Mm. Fortunately, I had a uh, long and eye-opening conversation with myself. What? We're the reason that this is happening. Of course. Always. I've always been. The marigold that infected our mothers bringing forth our births had an unexpected side effect. It shattered the timeline, broke it into an infinite number of alternate Season two. Season three. The timelines are bleeding into each other. That's how the Keepers were able to find those artifacts. Holy shit. Jean and Jean were right. I mean, their dreams of other timelines were real. So we need to go back to the original I mean, timeline. We knew that. We knew that the entire time. It's <laughs> <laughs> very obvious. That's what Ben was trying to show me. What, what, what does Ben have to do with this? Back at the department store when I was trying to pull the Durango from his body, I had a vision. Okay. I think he was trying to show me the original timeline. He tried to kill you. But he didn't. He pushed me away to save me. Season one, not the original timeline? I think he was trying to tell me something. I mean, the fact that they were born. All right, so just a pre, yeah, just a pre Durango anything. So how did Durango get there in the first place? Cargraves. We need to let the marigold in our bodies merge with the Durango inside the cleanse. They should cancel each other out. Are you okay? And then what happens to us? We cease to exist. You guys were Durango-less for six years in this timeline. Might have been down for some recreational harakiri, but it turns out that I'm really not into killing myself. A whole sacrifice, huh? It's mm. not ourselves it's worse than that we'll be erased from history okay well, what, what about the other timelines they will never have existed none of us will no one will have any memory of this or us that's really sad yeah no claire no you guys no anything just a world without the umbrellas if we cease to exist what happens to our families i'm not sure wait no i i don't like where this is going five come on five there has to be another way i'm pretty sure this is where we're going why don't you take the family to that crazy subway of yours? You save them, save yourself. Well, she can't do that. She has a miracle. 
Hey, all the Marigold needs to be destroyed, Diego. If Lila isn't here when the cleanse comes, it just restarts. Yeah, well, good thing it's her decision, isn't it? What about the other 40 kids with the Marigold? I don't think they exist in this timeline. Okay, fair. I'm staying with my mom. Clear beer. No, no, stay. No, no, no. You have to go with Lila, okay? No. No, I'd rather die here with you than not remember you. No. Claire. Mm. I need you to live and experience all of the amazing things that this world has to offer you, okay? I don't know what's gonna happen if you don't exist. I'll forget you, Mom. We don't know that, but what I do know is that you have to go with Lila. No, we can't. This is such a strange choice. Is this what they do in the comics? <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> I will always be a part of you. Always. Even if you don't remember me. You will always be my beautiful, smart girl. If things were allowed to breathe better, I'd probably be way more emotionally invested in what's happening. <laughs> like yeah. Emotionally, like, swept like, up. <laughs> I mean, the actors are, are doing their yeah, job. Like, but, yeah, the performances are doing it. Just the show didn't give them yeah, the this chance. Yeah, so fast. <laughs> so much happening. I don't want to sound like an asshole here, but if Five is right, you leaving is not a good thing. That's right. You can't go. She has Durango, too, yeah. She has Marigold. Marigold, that's what I meant. Watch me. Okay, come on, everyone. Stand around me, okay? Lila, don't do this. Hold on to me. Can she not get there without Five anyway? What? I guess she has the mirroring power again? I, I guess they just... What the hell? All right. I'm so confused. I'm that is it. not what... We established someone, someone, the someone explain to me what's going on. It's, the show's being inconsistent. That's what's going on. I don't know. We might have missed something. Lila. What's he doing here? Uh, can you just keep everyone together? I mean, Victor could have sucked the marigold out of her and then. That's true. Lila, please. I can't just leave them here. What if they don't make it? Then they don't make it. If you go with him, then this whole thing starts over. It doesn't end until all the marigold inside of us is gone. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. You do too. Victor could make the ultimate sacrifice, absorb all the marigolds. Exactly. They established that Victor can do this. So if Ben didn't give them the marigold, this wouldn't be a problem? <laughs> Pretty much. Because <laughs> <laughs> they were fine for like six years. Don't get on the train, Lila. Come on. Also, if they never exist, Claire would not exist. Yeah, no. This plan's pointless. It's, yeah. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Like the scenes are well acted, but the tension feels fabricated. Uh -huh. I'll see you soon, okay? Make sure you reach a Gracie every night, okay? Mommy. And don't let the twins fight. Aw, this is sad. This is sad. She is such a great actress, though. <sighs> they all are. They all really sell it, man. Like I said, if they had more time to breathe, I'd probably be more emotionally invested or more emotional about it. Aww. I hate you for this. <laughs> Weird. They've only had the marigold in them for like a week. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it starts. <laughs> it looks angry. Yes. The kids? Yeah, that's it. And Claire. Do you think they're going to be okay? Yeah. My family will take care of them. I guess. She'll never be alive. She'll never be alive. So, we're gonna do this thing. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel they gotta survive it in some way. Maybe we should go around the circle and, you know, share our favorite moments together. What? <laughs> Let's not do that. That's a really bad idea. Yeah, it's terrible. It's a terrible idea. Yeah. Back home. <laughs> what do we do? Just power up, I guess. Power up? You feel strong enough for this? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. You guys barely used your powers. Wow, Klaus, your storyline was so... <laughs> did nothing with Klaus. Can't, can't get over that. <laughs> it's like, it was so, like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that was the point of that. Same thing with Allison, too. I'm sorry you left Canada for this. I'm not. Really? This is where I'm supposed to be. You have a whole bar back home. With my family. Aw, well, they grew. Resolution. Acceptance. They didn't talk all season, but we're resolved. You were right. Done. I see.
see you. I finally see you. I didn't mean to hurt you. I know. I know. Han Solo. None of the other fives could figure this out. Maybe none of the other fives are willing to. Uh, uh. So have they justified the love triangle yet for like why they took that direction? I don't feel like they really did. Oh, it's lava. Don't fight it. Let it take you. Uh. <laughs> Hold on, okay? Uh. It's almost over. Is he going to figure out a last minute solution? Yeah, both their hands. Now they're a thruple. Thank you for letting me be in your weird family. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to miss you guys. I'm just glad we're all together in the end. No more legs than eggs, eh? Maybe we'll see each other again. That would be nice. Wow. You know, I just want to say... Is this how it's really going to end? I love you guys. But you are all assholes. <laughs> Weird ass visual effects. So weird. <laughs> I'm just imagining all the actors without the CGI just making those faces. Whoa. Wow. Man, we're gonna erase all this. We're gonna erase all of it. Original. Still around. Oh, I, I guess. They just put them on that one timeline. No way, what? <laughs> Are those the Swedes? I, maybe. I think they played this song in season one. Like for the, I think this is the first dance scene song. I could be wrong, though. Is that Grace? I think it's the real Grace, yeah. No way, Handler. Oh my god. Oh crap, what's his name again? Oh yeah. Um I forgot. Harold or I don't remember. On the twelfth hour of the eighth day of August, twenty twenty four, absolutely nothing out of the ordinary occurred. You might say it was just a normal day. Wow, that's how it ends. Shocking. <laughs> That's shocking. Damn. That was a serious finale. Oh, old five. Whoa, freaky. At least they got to complete a show. At, at least they did. Uh, <laughs> it, oh, Gerard Way. Oh, man. I can't imagine this is what you envisioned when you set out to make a show about your comic. I could be wrong. This could be exactly how the comic ended. I don't know. I haven't read the comic. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the build up to that does not it's felt so like like out of field was ben with them at the end of season three yeah they all parted ways and then and they ben made was, a point ben was there ben was there and they made a point to show him in korea on the subway reading a book after the credits were over so they meant that to be something yeah because they all got out of the elevator together And it does look like they had fun making the show, though. All these people involved. That's awesome. All oh, post credit scene. Wow. They were insane. Next episode. Marigold. Oh, more marigolds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flowers. Uh, our umbrellas. Our umbrella academy. What did you think? Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, That's the end of the that show. That did not end well. <laughs> 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 you know, I was hoping in episode five they were going to turn it around in the finale. But um, I think they kind of doubled down. And it, it, it not only was it not satisfying, but I think it kind of got worse. It just kind of makes the whole journey feel pointless. <laughs> kind of, right? Yeah, that's oh, my initial man. reaction, not my, not my reflective response. Yeah, because like the whole time they were trying to save the world, we went four seasons of them trying to save the world. They're like, all right, we can't save it. All right, we're just gonna give up. 
And not only that, they just cease to exist. So I guess like them all becoming selfless heroes is good, I guess. I, I guess, I suppose. Um, but to just erase that all from memory. I mean, they're always trying to save the timeline. So it makes sense. Like there's a part of me that does sort of respect it. I just feel that in terms of a narrative, the way we got there just did not build to it in a in a smooth way. It's <laughs> just like, okay, the last 20 minutes we're going to introduce this concept. All right. Uh, and so, yeah, I just think that they, with, with the limited amount of episodes they had, um, I think the first two, I think the, the show semi-peaked. I liked, I liked episode three. I still think episode two was my personal favorite. And, Same. And uh, I, I really think the first three episodes were good. The first three were really good. And perhaps you need to rewrite the entire season in order to get to these spots smoothly. But introducing that whole thing with... It just feels like the journey we went on this season felt pointless. Like this whole journey felt pointless. Um, it, just to land them in this spot. Like I, I, I guess it drives it home that for six years they're fine up until they get the marigold. Yeah, but then it's like, well, if they just didn't get the marigold, they would have been fine. <laughs> so maybe they, they had got they got the chance to have whole families and whole lives. So it seems like, yeah, marigold was the the primary issue for them. Why does it have to be they die as the marigold? Why isn't it just they get rid of the marigold? I guess because the emphasis kept going back to the marigold needs to be destroyed, not them need to be destroyed. But I guess the real thing is they need to be destroyed, like by them existing. Um, I guess, but then they also specifically wrote in the thing that Marigold can be transferred because Victor is capable of doing that. Like, he tried to do that to Ben, and that's how he was able to see the original timeline. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. It's that the ap- the apocalypse cleanse doom thing happens of them interacting with each other within this, like, weak time span or whatever. But I'm I guess it is that they have to die, not just the Marigold. Because the alternate timeline problem was still occurring, but the marigold also wasn't destroyed. No, like they the marigold, transferred. Yeah, they they just absorbed it, and it wasn't like they got the marigold and an apocalypse started happening. It's because they came into contact with Jennifer that it started happening. Uh, but and, and she and the and the wife kind of um, uh, pushed it happen. that way. Pushed it that way. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that was not. Um, that was not great because it, it like the setups were fine. And I even like this storyline of episode five of, of five and Lila getting it on and having the affair, but you can't introduce that in your penultimate and, no. then, and then not really have time to flesh things out like this. Cause it this, ultimately feels pointless. Yeah. I mean, a lot of it this, didn't add a, anything. A lot of this felt <laughs> pointless. Like it needed, t- it needed 10 episodes for sure. This, if there's any season that needed 10 episodes, if you're going to pack all that in, you need 10 episodes for this to breathe and for impact to happen. And as opposed to just, and then this happens and then this happens and then this happens and then this happens. And now this happens. I, d- I don't understand how this can truly be narratively a satisfying conclusion in terms of execution. Maybe there's an argument to be made for the choice to end it this way. I don't think the journey to there uh, was done smoothly or well. I think it's clunky as hell. I think it's very clunky. And I wonder if this is one of those cases where they just felt like they wanted to end it or like they're like okay we this was a popular show so we have to end it but we don't have the budget to give them a whole 10 episodes or if they wrote 10 episodes and like no we got to cut that down to six i think the popularity really dwindled in season three totally first two seasons that were really good i don't know why it went downhill as far as public consensus goes in season three i think it was like i still enjoyed season three a lot but i feel like it was a quality day from season two yeah well i made it during the pandemic fair yeah and I know some people weren't on board with Elliot Page's transition. I don't know how much that really affected people. I don't think it affected the show at all, really. He's one character out of many. So, exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, this was uh, this was disappointing because. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I will I'm say like, that I'm like really sad by how disappointing that was. 
Yeah, man. Because the acting's really good. The acting's great. The All of our cast great. members are great. Music's great. A couple of questionable CGI moments, but for the most part, I like the design of the monster. I, I like the design in theory. I like the concept art for the monster. I don't think the CGI was the greatest. But it's also a TV, so you got to be for, forgiven of that. I mean, I think that when CGI is good, we kind of just, that f- that's passing. When it's bad, we tend to remember. Yeah, true. Like, there were some bad shots, for sure. But they didn't do anything with them and their powers, really. Like, that kind of went to waste. And it was the whole thing of them, The whole thing of them getting their marigold back and them getting their powers back. And what does that really do for their identity? Their character arcs are all muddied. and Like, very, very muddied. Because you introduce, they have to die. So, like, conclusions don't feel earned. Arcs don't feel really earned. No. Um some of it's confusing on what they were going for. Klaus was wasted. They, they had no reason they, to give him his powers or because they didn't do anything with the powers. There like, was, was no reason for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> to have Even like this, their powers. Like, let's just get into the CIA episode. Like episode two seemed like, okay, here we go. Yeah, they're all needed. But then it just was like pointless in the end. Yeah, I even and like granted the show's never really been about them being superheroes or something. Yeah. But it just, Nothing really felt uh, reached the heights. Uh, when you have that opening in, in, in uh, season two, when they're all like powered up and fighting that apocalypse, mm-hmm. I feel like this show really needed to go out with a bang on having something like that. Should have had something heroic. Like that opening of season two, where uh, before five changed the timeline, where they're all working together, like that was awesome. Like I wish we could have gotten some sort of triumphant ending like that. That would have been really cool. Man, it even makes me wonder, like, I like the concept of Five and Lila getting together in theory, if we had that to flesh out. But the whole reason they went in there in the first place was to go to the original, their original timeline to stop Ben and Jennifer from getting killed. But then we never even go back to that concept. So it's like, yeah, no. what was the point of that? I, get, I feel like a lot of it was not earned and pointless and I, and also the fact that bothered me is that we bring purposely bring back ben but he's never really a part of them he's never really a part of the team even though it seemed like at the end of season three they were kind of leaning towards that yeah but yeah he was largely just the problem and i don't feel like even if this did have time to breathe that the problem being jennifer and ben being the new apocalypse feels as one as urgent and two as um dire or dangerous as the other ones yeah i did buy their chemistry yeah it's the by their chemistry the relationship just everything just felt so like forced and rushed in, in the last few episodes man yeah even, even shockingly like wow uh, even their fi- that final scene with them where diego's diego's like i see you now like i, don't, I didn't buy it i didn't, no, like, I didn't buy it either it felt very forced like you just just read the line you just have to say it just so we can have, we can rush this resolution. It was, uh, what a meaty ass! That, uh, that that's such a something to really chew on that they could have had for a, f- a couple of episodes of this confusing, like the conflict of that of like, yeah, you've been gone for seven years, and this is the only human being you're in, you you're around. So it, there could be a conflict of that of uh, I kind of get it, you know, if you've gone for seven years, that's my brother though, and you did cheat on me, but. At the same time, you thought you might never be able to come back, and you might have, like, oh man, so much, so much potential for something that is just like, it's like just glossed away. over for like big superhero monster thingy. Uh, it truly feels like they didn't know what to do with these characters. They just felt like we have to end it. Or right, well, guess we'll have Allison save Klaus, and we'll guess we'll have Klaus stuck in a box, and I guess we'll have Diego and Luther fight the CIA. Well, the mission to save the world wasn't even really something that felt truly at the forefront of the of the. I think that if that ending would have really hit home if they really drove home. They're trying to save the world. If they really imagine that, like every episode, you really feel like they're trying to save the world. They're trying to save the world. Oh my God, the way to save the world is they have to die. Yeah. Then bam, you got kind of a, a, at least that, at least that will hit. But because that's not really like a big focus, (laughs) it's, it's something that you get reminded of where like only certain plot lines seem to kind of give a shit about that. (laughs) 
They, they also, yeah, and they also do that thing where characters just don't tell each other just because because for the sake of the drama. Like there was no reason that that five and Lila wouldn't tell them about the subway with the timelines. Yeah, like but even before they had their whole getting stuck there, I feel like that's crucial information. Or the fact that there was this whole umbrella organization that was exploring timelines. I feel like that's information you would want to share with the people that have this shared experience with you, especially knowing you've gone through three other apocalypses with them. Yeah. Like, are we going to stop keeping secrets from one another? Because this is going to be able to help us in the long run. And I feel like the only people that were actually trying to work towards f- solving the problem of the plot were five Diego and Victor. All the other ones were just kind of like doing side shit. I mean, Diego sort of. He's he, I mean, like not this, Diego. Um, he was like so caring about like the CIA shit. No, <laughs> like, I, I meant I meant five Lila and Victor. Those are the only three that really tried to affect the plot. Yeah, but then even at a certain point, it just it, it gets carried away and not really concerning itself with that. No, because it becomes about the because then it triangle. even becomes like we could escape into an alternate timeline and we'll be fine. You know? And we never even see the timelines like, they go like to. Like if all the timelines were affected, like threatened. Then that then the stakes would at least still be there in some way. Yeah. Um. I I think that's their missing. That was the main missing ingredient. Well, because this show is never really about them. It's never really a superhero show, right? But like them trying to stop the Kugel Blitz in the season three, whatever criticism you want to give that season, I I'm like I really feel that the whole time is like, damn, we're really trying to stop this thing. Oh my God! There's no stopping this thing. <laughs> Shit, you know, it's right down to the wire, you know. And and I think they really nailed that. Of like, how are we going to stop this? Is there truly a way? If they get to the other side, it's while keeping all the character dynamics and the relationships, and then you're exploring Klaus's powers. Like you're doing everything, and you're still keeping every character feel essential for the storyline. And that's what they needed to do again. And that's kind of what every season of Umbrella Academy does. So I think it would have been really strong and apt for them to be like, oh, we, they're reunited again. And here's why they have to reunite because of this thing. And it turns out the only way to stop this from re- repeatedly happening is they have to die. And I think that's what they were trying to say at the end. That's exactly what they're trying to say at the end. Uh, but again, it's about feeling. And it's about the emotional impact of it. But you're zigzagging. Even in your big finale fight, they like, oh, we didn't have time to flesh this out, so we're gonna have Diego and and uh, and five like punch each other a few times, <laughs> you know. And Fabricated when, tension. When you're just like, oh, guys, we know you're not gonna kill each other. Like, but in a longer season, they maybe could have had a moment where it's like Diego's maybe seems like he might try to actually kill him or something. Right. You know. And yeah, in that longer season, that would have been something to really add tension. I would have, my heart would have broken for for all of them. Luther's just a joke. He's just a joke. He's just yeah. happy and like unchanged and unbothered by anything that's happening. I thought he'd be broken after losing, like even after if, losing if, Sloan, right? Losing Sloan, having to be a stripper. You'd think like the time you catch up with him, you would see you'd see that all this is just a mask for depression or something like that. And I'm pretty sure, <laughs> and you guys can correct, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't even think they mentioned Sloan. I don't even think they it say did. her name once. Did yeah, they? they in the first episode? What they say? They're at the party, and it's yeah, they 100 percent say they're at the party, and and, he, and he's talking with Diego at the party, and he says like. Sloan and I could have had that or something like oh, that. Oh, you're right. You're right. But then they don't explain what happened. They don't to explain her. that she's not around. They don't explain any of that. And yeah. they just have one like throwaway line of like, oh, yeah, Ray left her years ago. You know, that was like her driving. One, that was her main dude. That was her like, yeah. her ride or die in season two. And they just write him off on screen or write him off off screen. And I felt like they lacked purpose. What, they lacked that's, purpose. That's what exactly. everything felt like. It lacked purpose. <laughs> Yeah, and that was not good. <laughs> it wasn't, dude. That was it, really not good. It makes yeah, and man. it's crazy because I love this cast, and it makes me think like, damn, should they've just and ended the it on kids, season three? Should they just all have walked away, and that's the end of the show? And I feel like you could have actually done it in six episodes in some way. I think there's, a, I think there's a version where you could have gotten more of it completed. Maybe not everything, but I think you at least would it be. I want to check the Rotten Tomato score. <laughs> yeah, please let's do I, it. I have no idea. As I know, the other three have like a ninety percent. Um, if, they, if they've done the mini movie route, kind of how you were talking, which is what it before. seemed like they were doing in the first three episodes, I was like, "Oh, cool, a mini movie." Yeah, um, 
but then no, then it's like let's try to do a show. <laughs> like, right. yeah. we'll try to be a show in the last okay. three episodes. Season one is seventy seven. Season two ninety one. Season three is ninety one. Season four is sixty one. Yeah, it's the lowest rated season with an eighteen percent audience Ooh, score. Ooh, I know yeah. that's right. Oh damn! I just want to make I sure it's not just a bunch. I of, love the cast. I still love the cast. I just want to make sure it's not just a bunch of people who hate trans people because <laughs> right. sometimes that happens. This is true. This is true. Um, and I'm just skimming it. And I see nothing about that and everything I'm skimming in these one stars. <laughs> <laughs> Character development destroyed. So many questions. Why didn't Victor just blow up the marigold from the others? Yep. Um, yeah. Plot holes still answered. Yeah. Read the spark notes of the past three seasons and called it a day. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Good. It's not. Um, I don't see anything about like. I was. I'm so concerned about that because I know that like some of that bombing came in in the last season. But, oh. Yeah. This is. This was not. Good. This is this is really bad. This is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's bad because I feel like you normally try to have like a positive spin about like the media that you're watching, but like this is this is kind of rough, dude. This is pretty bad. Yeah, the cast is, was really good. I'll 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 try to add something. I feel like the cast was really strong this season. Like even though they didn't have the time to flesh it out, I feel like all their performances are really strong. I think the the comedy was still there. Diego was hilarious this season. Klaus is still Klaus, and he's still really funny. Uh, I think Five, the guy actor who plays Five, is phenomenal, and so is Lila. The actor who plays Lila and Hargraves is was good too, and that was they're great. They're great. Yeah, but it doesn't save the <laughs> the show. <laughs> I think the one who got the most arc was Victor, because Victor got to have a resolve with the one who who hates being around. Also, like, Elliot Page was great too. Yeah, like Victor, like Allison doesn't hate the family. Allison was scared of being around the family because the family. And then she there's felt no tension by, with that. She felt judged by the family for what she did, rightfully so. But she still had Klaus. Yeah. Victor, on the other hand, wants like nothing to do with anyone. Right, and Victor by the end comes to this realization that I, I want to be here with my family. I want to try to save Ben, and does have resolve with Vic, with uh, Hargraves and, and Reginald. So there's more of an arc given to to him, um, but it seems like so isolated to everyone else. <laughs> and it seems like it could have been like this mirroring of the first season because obviously the first season starts with all of them being in separate places and. Uh, they're all mad at um, at Victor because Victor wrote a book about them, like a tell-all about their family as they're, as they were kids. So uh, they're exiled, mm -hmm. but and then this time they were uh, self-exiled in Canada, and they're all doing their own thing. So I don't know if they did some sort of mirroring thing. Maybe that would have felt more like a complete sort of package, but I don't think that the show had the insight to to take it that direction. Yeah, and there were also like logical gaps sometimes. Just like in general, there was like logical gaps <laughs> in so many scenes. You're like, wait a minute, what? How does that happen? I don't understand. Uh, yeah, on, on the technical side, things were good, acting good. Um, but in terms of in terms of structure, uh, yeah, that that was not that was that was really disappointing. Um, I'm kind of destroyed by that. A little bit, dude, because I I remember having such a great time watching season two with you, and then season, season three was, was really fun. Season two was amazing. Season three was like up and down the first time we watched it. I really loved season three when I rewatched it. I loved it a lot. I I loved it way more than when we first watched it. Um, I I thought it was great. I thought the first three seasons were all really strong. Yeah, all the characters had had purpose. I feel they like this ruins drive. the characters. <laughs> no, <laughs> I feel like this this actually ruins a lot of the goodwill. Because <laughs> like, if I rewatch the show, I'm like, what's the point? Of, why am I watching this? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I, like, I would tell people like, to watch seasons one through three and don't watch season four. Like, there's not even an implication that their memories will live on in the children and stuff. Mm. Maybe maybe the fact that they're alive. Yeah, but. There's nothing about them, their sacrifice being honored in some way. They have flowers. But they've never really been like, <laughs> like you can't really call them heroes when they're the problem. <laughs> yeah, fair. And, they're they, heroes and as kids. And they've never really been heroes, you know? Like, that's never really been their thing is being heroes. We, when they were kids, they were heroes. And then after that, they just kind of like But they didn't really care off. about being heroes. They were yeah. forced to by the Yeah, yeah. Man. 
Um, yeah, that was uh, such as I, I I've never it. had a finale leave like such a like sour taste in my mouth before. Oh, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? Have you not seen Dexter? No, I've always wanted to watch Dexter. Oh, dude, no, Dexter. <laughs> Dexter's worse than this. Really? But didn't Dexter have like a follow up show? Wouldn't that make it better? Did it not make it better? <laughs> Well, he's going to have another follow-up show, so maybe that'll make it better. <laughs> De- Dexter ended terribly. Terrible oh, ending. Oh, God. And it's like, all right, whatever. And then years later, they announced Dexter New Blood, and they're going to like, all right, we're going to give it a final send-off. And it was really good. Oh. Until the last episode, no. where somehow they managed to give us an ending worse than the last one. I was like, how did they do this? How did, how did they make this worse? And now they've announced another one. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Stop. You can't do it. You can't end it. Quit. Quit. Just quit it. Yeah. Uh, that was a, yeah. No, that, I think that's worse ending than this. God damn. <sighs> well, because I could at least see the context of what they're going for. Here. Yeah. Well, you, in yeah. theory, it's like yeah. it's interesting if it had more time to be executed. I feel like point A to point B, like in concept, is good. Just the way we get there is uh, not great. Yeah, man. Oh God, no one, no one's watching our fucking reactions. <laughs> I was like, wow, these are way down <laughs> before. <laughs> like, way down. <laughs> this, is no really, one, this is really bad. Because, yeah, no one's, they're not promoting it. And I understand why. <laughs> it's like Netflix wanted this to die. Yeah, because I didn't see any ads for it before you were like, oh, yeah, this is coming out. I was like, oh, shit, okay. I even saw the trailer. I saw the trailer views, and the trailer views were not that high. Damn. For Netflix, those trailer views are really small. You can you can sometimes gauge if a show's gonna actually be popular or not by trailer views. Mm-hmm. And, um, depending on what company is doing the trailer. And so yeah, I was like, Oh, this is kinda low. So I did suspect that it would not be as good as numbers as season like season three was not as good as season two in terms of numbers. No. I didn't think it would be this much of a dip, <laughs> but I was like, "Wow, this is really bad." <laughs> like these are these are not well performing videos. And it's the first thing you see when you go on Netflix when you pop up. So they're like, "Is it say number one on television?" I don't know. Do Definitely do not. Obviously, no. I mean, Netflix will always do that. Joe Rogan's they, they special says it, number one. They always put it at like number one. I could believe that. Joe, people can't stop talking about that. But it's it's not about good. how it's <laughs> about how it's not a great stand up. <laughs> and we all want to rip apart Joe Rogan because we hate Joe Rogan. And I watched and I was like, it's fine. Oh, Jack Reacher, never go back. Where's my TV shows? The time of watching them. Where's the fucking TV shows? <laughs> Do you see them? I don't see them anywhere. No. Are you on movies? I mean, no, you're at the I'm, home. Yeah. I'm, okay. My list. Your next watch. Comedies. Top ten TV. Yeah. Umbrella. Comedy. Oh, it's on number one. Okay. Yeah, but Netflix. Is that a fabricated number one? It has Netflix to be. Netflix completely fabricates this shit. This is their way of pushing it. So many I mean, number one shows get canceled <laughs> like, after one season or two. <laughs> like oh, they, no. they get canceled all the time. Number one shit. Netflix is notorious for that. I hope all these actors get work, like, because they're all really great. I think Aiden. I think the ones who play, okay, Aiden Gallagher, Lila. I don't, I don't know, I don't know their names, Lila and Diego. But I think the strongest ones are Aiden Gallagher and Lila. They're totally. Uh, so like focusing on them for a plot line, I was so into because they are my, they are the best actors to me. Um, everyone else is really good. Uh, like they're great, but but them two are awesome. And the guy plays Reginald too is amazing. Yeah. Apparently he's in Tasm too. Do you know that? He's uh he's he's Donald Minkin. He's like the guy uh, Harry Osborne who tried to take his company. Oh, yeah, that's fun. All righty, guys. Well, what do you think about Umbrella Academy? Are you happy with the way it ended? I hope you are. I hope you liked it more I than like we did. Feed off your your juju. Um, Say uh, something positive about the finale in the comments. Yeah, please. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end this now. All right, bye everyone. Bye guys. <laughs>